Now to a case the Target 12 investigators have been tracking from the beginning. Is, is he Nicholas Oliverdian of Rhode Island or Arthur Knight from the United Kingdom? In just days, a Scottish court is poised to weigh in on that question. It is a mystery that has garnered international attention after authorities in the U.S. say Oliverdian faked his own death to escape rape charges. Target 12 investigator Tim White's been tracking this case for years and is here now with the latest. This is a significant update in this wild case. A Scottish court ruling in extradition hearing next week can go forward. I am Arthur Knight. Since December 2020, the man who claims he was born in Ireland in 1986 has denied being this man, Nicholas Aliverdian of Rhode Island. A Scottish court ruled on Thursday that an extradition hearing scheduled for Monday will happen. The court will hear evidence from prosecutors and the detainee's defense team as to his true identity. The man who identifies himself as Arthur Knight argued Thursday he needs more time because he has new lawyers, according to the BBC, but prosecutors say the detainee has fired six attorneys so far, and it's time to move on. The courts agreed. Aliverdian is wanted on rape charges in Utah, as well as for financial fraud in Ohio, accused of swindling 200 grand from his foster father by taking credit cards out in his name. Aliverdian has a checkered past in Rhode Island with multiple arrests, including for domestic violence. It was that arrest in Pawtucket that authorities say they were able to identify him in Scotland using details about the tattoos on his arms. In an interview with 12 News anchor Kim Kalunian earlier this year, the man who says he's Arthur Knight claims he's never set foot on U.S. soil because I have similarities to a person in life and in youth. That doesn't necessarily mean that I am that person. The hearing on Monday is set for 10 a.m. over there. It is scheduled to run for three days. Prosecutors say they're calling 10 witnesses. The defense, just one, Arthur Knight's wife. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.